Tonight, the calls for help are getting louder. Data shows more people are reaching out to domestic violence emergency response lines here in Georgia. Since 2020, calls in those lines have increased 13%, indicating an even greater need for help to break the cycle in our state. Only on 11 Alive, Caitlin Ross reports survivors of the epidemic want to save families from suffering. The words in her heart. To my baby boy, Josiah. Cradle the baby boy. You have the biggest slash best smile ever. That her hands. I still love you more than anything. Can't quite hold. I'm not able to completely hold him on my own yet. Her soft letters of protection. You're such a curious baby. From the hard truth she can't explain. My brain doesn't really comprehend yet that I'm in a wheelchair, I'm being a wheelchair my whole life. Like, it's been a struggle. Her parents got her message about the struggle on August 22nd, when Jalen Morris survived. As soon as he answered, all he heard was the baby screaming. So once he heard the baby screaming, we knew. Her baby survived because Jalen wrapped herself around him. I'm very proud of her. I'm very, very proud of her. Her former partner shot Jalen once in the back and twice in the face before taking his own life. On this side, I'm missing most of my teeth, so it's harder for me to talk, especially um, the bullet cut half my tongue. But Jalen would not let the violence silence her. By the time we saw her, she was already on the vent and she couldn't speak. So the only way to communicate was a whiteboard. Her message? I just want to survive. She's only here because she's pushed. She's pushed and she's fought every step of the way. I don't have my core body strength anymore. Everything is just kind of a struggle to do right now. Her parents now joining in the fight to share her message of survival. All too often, DV is a taboo subject. Starting a TikTok channel to raise awareness about domestic violence. It's taboo, even on platforms such as TikTok. If you post a video and you use domestic violence, you say the words, it gets taken down. Jalen now listed as a victim of gun violence in Georgia. I don't want her name just to be a name on a website on a list. She has a story and her story could potentially save other names from being on that very list. Peekaboo! Jalen wants to use her voice and her words to advocate for other people escaping domestic violence. I love you more than anything. To rewrite what a survivor looks like for her son. I love watching you go and will forever love you. She is writing her own story. What a strong young woman and a strong family. Jalen wants people to hear her story and reach out for help if they are struggling. We have a list of resources that you can access right now on our website, 11alive.com. You'll find this story on our homepage.